my creative friends! I am Sonia, I'm so happy to see you on my channel! This year I attended Ansi Festival in France for the first time of my life and I was very surprised when I got to know that not all my ColourArts classmates were familiar with this event. So in this video I will make a little overview of the festival, I will also show you the city and uh, my work I have made during the plenary sessions. I hope that after this video you would like to come to Ansi. You, yes. You will. You will come. First of all, the festival itself usually takes place in the end of June. Not everyone knows, but ANSI, or NSC, like how my American fellows pronounce it, it's also the lake and the city where this festival is held. The city itself is beautiful and it really looks like the towns from old books or fairy tales. It is surrounded by mountains which turn pink under the rays of the sunset and it's like a magnificent view to see. There is a beautiful clear river going through the city and the river really looks like channels in Venice, that's why Ansi is usually called the Venice of France. To be honest, at the beginning I didn't even want to go to Ansi because I was exhausted after the year of studying at Go Arts at the same time, so I just had classes days and nights. I just wanted to go home and have some rest. But when my classmate from Ugo proposed me to swim naked in the lake, I just couldn't resist. So I just quickly packed my luggage and was ready to go. Okay, don't worry, I bought a swimming suit in advance. Now about the festival itself. Usually ANSI is called the Canes of Animation. And actually ANSI is some kind of a competition. You can just visit various screens. You can meet lots of famous European and even American directors, producers, artists, establish connections in the industry and just hang out with people you like. Uh, so how the festival is structured? So first of all, it has a main building where you get your accreditation and where there are main events happening like world's premieres of films from famous studios, big masterclasses on big screenings. In the beginning of the festival you will receive a map with all the cinemas marked on the map. I was very lucky because I was able to get to several Europe premieres and the first film I got to was Wolf Walkers by Cartoon Saloon. It was an adorable experience. Like I really recommend you to watch this film because it's like it's a masterpiece. The music, the animation, the story itself is like wow, it's adorable. Another world's premiere I attended was Luca by Pixar. Uh, Luca had a very fun special promotion. They were volunteer guys who gave out free ice creams for every person. The, these ice creams were in colors of an Italian flag. It would be great if the advertising wouldn't work so well, because we came like an hour before the screening and there was already a huge queue outside of the cinema. The film was also adorable and there was like a live connection to the director and an art director. I also had a good time hanging out with my classmates in the lawn next to the lake. Once we wanted to attend a work in progress of some film by a famous director and I saw a giant queue near the cheese shop and I thought, wow, how people must like the cheese that they're standing in such a great queue to buy one. You can guess what happened. Unfortunately, this queue wasn't for the cheese. <laughs> this queue was for this event, so we were not able to attend this work in progress. <sighs> it happens sometimes. But that's why in NC it's better to plan out your schedule and decide to which events you want to go, because there are some screenings or some masterclasses which will be overpopulated and you need to come like an hour or two in advance. Uh, at the festival there was also a great bookshop in the main building. It was called the library, but it was actually a shop. There were lots of art books, some textbooks like where you could learn how to create character design, animation, anatomy and stuff. There were also lots of comics and manga and I was able to buy like a great amount of books. I spent all my savings and I also had to buy one more luggage to be able to 
bring these books home because they were hella heavy. You know, in Russia all these books like cost twice more, so I don't regret buying them. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to talk about my art book collection. The festival also has its own rituals, which are very funny for a person unfamiliar with them. So one ritual is like making the donkey from Shrek sounds during the opening shorts. <gasps> Another ritual is just making a paper plane and throw it that well that it lands on the scene. Муха, уйди! Уйди нафиг! When I was able to get one plane on scene, I was very happy because it is like a very, very difficult task. The festival is adorable and it opens a lot of doors to the people attending it. Besides going to screenings and master classes, I also managed to spend this week painting, like making what I like. Because you know, I love planner painting. It gives me so much joy because when you look at these works afterwards, they are like the windows to the past. You can remember all the smells you felt this time. You can remember all the people you talked to and what you talked about. I will just show you my TikToks. The city was so picturesque that I just couldn't resist painting it. If you see me painting outdoors, don't hesitate to say me hello. <laughs> Drawing I made was with oil pastels and I drew it during our first day. It was a pure experiment because I have never drew with oil pastels before. Another painting is my favorite painting of this week, it was painted from a Vietnamese cafe, where we sat for two or three hours. And this is the portrait of my friend Aya, with whom we had these plenary sessions and just wandered around. All around there were lots of birds, like ducks and swans, who were so used to human presence that they didn't even fly away when we got near them. So I could not only paint, like go to the festival, I could also observe the nature and see how the swan tries to kill a human being. So that's all I wanted to tell you about. And see festival. I know this video is very short, so it's like a little overview of the event. I hope that you like this video and maybe next year you will come. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to not to miss my next videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye!